Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my LB20 The Show New York Mets franchise. This is the July 7th game. We'll be facing the New York Yankees in Yankee Stadium. The Yankees are 56 and 34 right now, and we are 57 and 34. We got Ace versus Ace. We got Jacob DeGrom, who's 11 and 3 with a 3.83 ERA, versus Garrett Cole, who's 8 and 3 with 3.23 ERA. So this should be interesting. I had to set this up so that way it would be Garrett versus Jacob. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Okay, first out of the game for the Yankees. Let's take a look at the lineup. We got DJ LeMahieu fought by Gio Urshela, Gleyber Torres, Aaron Judge, Miguel Andujar, John. Carlos Stanton, Luke Voigt, Gary Sanchez, and Brett Gardner in the ninth spot. Three and two to Gio. Got him! Froze him with a high fastball going 99 miles an hour. Alright, two and two to Judge. You know he got the power. Swings and misses on a slider. That ends the inning for Jacob. And the Mets. That's a base hit. Right over the first baseman for first hit for the for the Mets. One and two to the Yankees catcher. One and two to Gary Sanchez. Got him swinging on a slider. That is the end of the inning for the Yankees. Ooh, that is Ramos hitting to deep right field, and it's going to be in for a double. He's a little slow, but is he going to make it? And he's going to be safe. That is a double for Wilson Ramos, putting the very, very slow wheels on. And that's double number 11 for the year. One and two to LeMahieu. Got him with a slider. That is another strike for the ground. That's number four for the game. Pete Alonso into double play. Full count. And that is Pete Alonso sending to deep left center field, and it's going to be at the wall and, oh my gosh, at the warning track. Just underneath for Pete. Gardner getting underneath it for the catch. To him to the judge. Got him with a curveball. Second strikeout for Aaron Judge this game. That's DeGrom's fifth. Going to Luke Voigt, runners at the corners. Got him swinging, inning over. DeGrom getting himself out of a predicament. And we are going to the fifth inning. Still 0 0. Got him swinging with a slide. That's another strikeout for Jacob. Numero 7. Alonzo go opposite direction. It's going to be a home run. Pete Alonzo hitting the middle deck using his opposite field power for his 42nd home run. And the Mets are up 2 0 here in the fifth inning. Wow. They just went away. I didn't think he got a hold of that, but using the right porch. That's what I love about baseball. The pitch for a home run. Foolish. Pete Alonso usually not hitting opposite field, but I guess he'll take it. And that's up to nothing. This is out of first. And the ground gets out of a runners in the corner situation. Wow, good play by Cano. Double steals on. He can't get to him. Oh, that's going to be a base hit. Rosario's going to be waved home. That's an RBI single for Wilson Ramos. The hit and run paid off perfectly. And the defense could not recover. The usual play, that would be a dribbler gets past Garrett Cole. But because of the hit and run, there's no one covering. Full count to Gary Sanchez. Got him swinging. That is another strikeout. Number eight. One and two to Brett Gardner. 
so far. Broken bat. This is popped up. And that is seven innings for Jacob DeGrom. The no runs given up. Two and two to judge. Benson throws. Got him swing. That's his third strike out of the game. Oh, that's Cano. Driving to deep right field, and it's out of here. That's a three run home run for Robinson Cano as he comes back to Yankee Stadium. That got out of here in a hurry, and that makes things six to nothing. Here in the eighth inning. That freezes Sanchez. Ball game over. That is three strikeouts for Dan Winkler, and that wraps up the game. The Mets win six nothing. Behind the pitching of Jacob DeGrom, seven innings, eight strikeouts. I believe it's four hits given up, two walks. No earned runs, and the bullpen came in, saved the day. But with the power of Pete Alonso, who also helped with that two-run home run, as well as Robinson Cano with a three-run home run, and Los Ramos with that single. That drove in Rosario. What a game from this team. All right, and we're back. And that was the Mets' 58th win of the season. Making them 58 and 34, making the Yankees 56 and 35. So next game we have is Marcus Stroman versus Luis Severino, who's four and four. We're gonna be simming this game actually, and gonna be going into. Um, I might be doing home and derby next next uh, game. I don't know. Um, but the next game we'll be playing will be. Um, Marcus Stroman against, it's going to be against Seattle, in Seattle after the All-Star break, um, but I might do the home run derby first and then play the game. So let's just sim this through all the way up here and let's hope for the best, but I need to fix the lineups for the for the Mets here. I actually did not fix the, the, uh, the DH lineup. Now that I fixed the lineups, let's fast forward. We got the Mets up 9-0. And Shoma's going for the shutout. And of course, we win 9-4. Come on, bro. Let's take a look. Oh, Trey Turner got traded to the White Sox for Yuan Moncada. Uh, stop simulating. Let's take a look at the, um, the box score for this game. For the Mets, and we got Conforto Nito, Nito hitting a home run. Conforto with three RBIs, Davis with two, and Nito with four. All right, let's keep swimming through against Miami. It is a big series, actually, for the Mets, and we win. Ah, we end up losing four to two. No. Okay, so we ended up winning two out of three games against Miami. We sweep the Yankees. So we're now 61-35, getting to, heading into the All-Star break. And let's take a look at the stats here. The Mets are up seven and a half games now over the Braves. Um, in terms of the awards, we got Pete Alonso batting 301, 45, 43 home runs with 85 RBIs, leading the league in uh, MVP, MVP voting. And we, got, and we got Jacob DeGrom, 12-3, with a 3.62 ERA, with a 146 strikeouts. Still leading the Cy Young race. Uh, Max Scherzer, look at that ERA. Look at that strikeout count. If it wasn't for that record, oh boy, I think we'd be in trouble here. Because he is on fire here. Uh, hopefully we can stay hot after the All-Star break with the Mets. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my MLB 20 The Show New York Mets franchise. If you did, leave any comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Take it easy and peace.